So now I'm running the motor for five minutes to see how the battery voltage drops and see how much power I can pull out of it. I'm pulling about uh, 47 watts when it's running. It's about four amps and 11 and a half volts. So the voltage drops from 11.9 to 11.5 when it's running. So I've just clamped to the desk because it was, it was moving quite a bit when I started it. So I have all these batteries and it's powering this motor here. It's warmer. It's 12 volts and one amp. And I'm using it to charge three batteries that I got, lithium batteries that I got out of a laptop. These are the standard um, 18650. And I'm charging at about 0.9 of an amp. So just the natural resistance of the battery, I think, is uh, creating a good current. And the voltage I'm putting in is about 13 volts. For all these batteries, they're at about 9 um, volts, so about 3 volts each. Or 0.98 amps, and now it's at 0.9. So yeah, basically I just have them connected, three batteries connected in series. They were all at the same voltage. They were all at 3.19 volts before I started. And I set a connection to the circuit, and it's going through my uh, multimeter to monitor the amps. So I just finished my first battery pack. So there's three lithium ion cells from a laptop battery in series. Um, and in total, I have 12.1 volts. Um, so that's just over 4 volts per cell. Um, so what I did is I took these three cells that I got and I connected them in series together in a bunch. You can see I soldered on little pieces of wire. This is 22 gauge wire. Um, I wanted wire that was um, quite small so if I short this thing out the wire um, could melt and create resistance so that I don't damage the battery. I'm also going to put um, a fuse on this set so I'm going to have four sets like this. So this I could get maybe one or two amps out of it at 12 volts and I'm going to have th four of these in parallel so I'm going to have these as another battery pack and then these three and these three and I'm going to put them all in this chocolate clear case that I have and then when I connect those together I should be able to run um, motors like this one here so this is the one that I had in my oil pump and I'm thinking about maybe building an electric bicycle where I can use this uh, motor I think it's a hundred or two hundred watts at um, at 12 volts so this should be able to power stuff that you could use like in your car, car outlet. So if you use one of those fall, small inverters that you can use in your car, you could plug um, things that use the normal house um, 110 volts AC. I just finished my test battery. This is 100 um, watt hours. I used the two six cell um, laptop batteries that were in the garbage. This is basically free. And I hooked them up so that there's three together to make about 12 volts when it's four volts per cell. And I have uh, four sets in parallel. Um, so I can pull maybe eight amps out of this uh, at about um, 100, 100 watts. Um, and this is a motor here that's out of the car. It's a 12 volt motor. So, and I have the amp, amp meter hooked up. So all I have to do is connect this wire and the motor will start. Whoa. <laughs> It's pulling about 4 amps. So it should be able to run like this for 2 hours. So it's really good. So I'm going to try and make an electrical bike with this. Feels like it has a lot of power.